What's going on, everybody? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. I'm going to show you what I picked up today, so don't go nowhere. So we're going to get right into the video. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, hit the notification bell to get notified when I post another video, and subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of people. Um, I have um, I have subscribers, but I don't have the views that I should be getting on my videos. Like I'm not understanding. So I'm, I'm guessing that most of you are not hitting the notification bell. So hit that notification bell. All right. So we're going to get started with the video. I got a few things today. Not that much. I really need to kind of jump through this video because I want to see my grandkids today. So we're going to get right into it. Um, I went to a place that's called Care and Share. Um, and I went to the Goodwill today. So I got a few things at the Goodwill and a few things there. So these are things I got from the Care and Share, which is usually a good experience when I go to this place. It's kind of like a, it's not necessarily, I wouldn't say it's a hole in the wall because it's a lot bigger than a hole in the wall. But um, it is a pretty big thrift store, but you never know what you're going to find there. And prices are like just outrageous. They're really, really good. Like when I say outrageous, I mean low, you know, not not that much. All right, so I don't know how much this is worth. I know it's not vintage. It is from 2009. It's the Kiss Bingo. I'm pretty sure all the pieces are inside. I just thought it was really cool, and it was only one doll hair. So we picked this up for one dollar. Um, and I don't know what, like I said, I don't know what it's worth. Brit is always a good thing to pick up. They usually sell, I do have some listed now that are like, they've been listed for a while. So I think that this is kind of just like a, um, a very, uh, saturated, um, part of the market. Like that's just, you know, kind of like Nikes and Jordans. There's just so many of them that, you know, if you're not competitive with your price, then it's going to sit for a while. And I picked up these books. The only reason why I grabbed these is because they do have Jordan on them. I don't know what the value is of these. Um, I thought they were really cool. If they're not worth a bunch, I'll probably just give them to my son. I've been giving him a lot of um, Jordan memorabilia, and hopefully he'll just hold on to it for a really long time. I only paid a dollar for that, so it's a nice sports trivia uh, four-book set. And the books, the books are in pretty good shape. Ultimate football quiz. We got the ultimate baseball quiz. Great baseball feats facts. Um, il the illustrated sports record book. So obviously you got Jordan right there on the front. So this is a pretty cool set. I would imagine it's probably worth a few bucks just because it has Jordan on it. Um, he's like right on the cover. He's right on the first book. So we'll see. Um, I kind of went out on a limb on these on these DVDs. I'm not really sure if they're worth anything, but let me show you the Pampered Chef thing I got today. I think it's an egg. It's an egg something, like an egg. I think it's, a, it's an egg something. Yeah, it's an egg something. Something just fell through. All right, let's try not to break it because I'm real good at breaking stuff. All right, the thing, whatever it is, it says on the inside, it is, it's a ceramic egg cooker. All right, so this is an egg cooker. I don't know if you put that in a micro. I don't know how this works. It's got a little hole at the top, but it is Pampered Chef, and that's the reason why I picked it up. It does have the manual. It was $3, so I don't know if this was worth picking up or not. Um, this is a no-signal place where I can't look anything up. I always save, save newspaper. So I was buying my, I was buying my, um, my padded's at Walmart because... They have packs of 30 for like eight something. Um, but when you do the math, I don't know if it's cheaper or not. When you do the math, like even the the eBay bags, um, I think I'm just gonna wait until till the end uh, and just use my quarterly. Um, if you have a, a store subscription for eBay, you get a quarterly bonus. It's like mine's like fifty dollars because I have um, I have a premium store. I don't have the anchor store. The anchor store is like where you can just list, you know. There's just, there's no fees. Like, it's just ridiculous. But, you know, that's for people who have like 10,000 items in their store. I have like 3,500 or something like that. All right, so I picked up these DVDs. I wasn't really too sure. These ones in here, it says, I think it says Dutchland. They're Dutchland rollers. There's one, two, three. There's a bunch of them. I think this was it. There's five of them. So there's five of them. I was going to lot these together and see how well they do. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is like punk rock or it kind of looks like that. Barn razors. 
Um, okay, I think that these are, are they skaters? They're just like, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is some kind of local thing. Dutchland rollers. You know what I think these, I think they're roller bladers, like roller skaters. So I don't know if this, these are worth anything. They could be worth a ton of money. They could be completely worthless. But um, one, two, three, four. We've only invested five dollars in it. So you know, whatever. Sometimes I got it. I had I take chances when I go there because I don't have a signal. So I kind of kind of go with my intuition, which is a pretty good intuition. Um, I picked up these hockey ones. We have Michigan versus Boston, ninety-eight and ninety-six. This one's Michigan versus Colorado. So they're both Michigan. So I'm probably just going to put these together and sell these and sell them out as a lot. Um, there's two discs in each. There's two in that one, two in that one. All right, so I'm just going to lot these together, and hopefully I'll do well with those as well. Um, I think I spent about $70. I got another. Um, they're doing coupons right now where they, if you spend so much, they give you a coupon. And I keep forgetting to hand my coupons in, so I have $30 worth of coupons that I haven't even used yet. So with that being said, i got to use them. So we got Life Beyond the Grave. Um, that's brand new, sealed. This one is the Healing Creed. If these are just like inspiration or, or religious or something, I'll probably put those together. Here's another one, the Gates of Jerusalem. This one is brand new. Those are I only grabbed them because they're new. And this one I just kind of took. Uh, um, it's the Rebel, Branson's Quest for the Best. I believe this is the guy that created Virgin Mobile, so I don't know if this is worth anything. He actually owns his own island. Um, I don't know if it's the Virgin Islands. I, I don't, you know, I don't know enough about it to really get into it. Yeah, see, this is Virgin Records. Um, the Rebel Billionaire, pretty good condition. They kind of look like bootleg um, DVDs, so I don't know. There's a lot of them in here. That one's even not even printed right. Yeah, these are kind of like bootleg, if you will. So. Um, I don't know how well I'm going to do with them. We'll find out in the end. All right, put this over here. I'll reuse the paper. All right, so I find a lot of vintage stuff at this place. It's kind of like in the middle of nowhere, like in the country. So I always find like a lot of like, um, like Woolrich and, and L.L. Bean and things like that. Like, like country stuff, you know, like um, hunting gear and things like that. So um, I like to find some Filson. Um, these are the railroad sock. I don't know if these are worth anything. I don't know if they're if they're vintage or not. I think they are. They're made in USA, um, Illinois Central. I think there's more than one pair. There's three pairs in each one, so there's six pairs. Um, I'm, I believe that these are vintage and they're brand new. And I do very well with vintage socks. I just sold um, a lot of of vintage socks. I think they were dress socks, and they were like I can't remember the brands or anything, but um, they. I did well with them, so I think I got 55 for all of them. All right, so this is filled with magnets, and they're all like, um, like tourist, whatever, you know, um, what do you call them? When you, you get them out of the gift shop or whatever, they're um, souvenirs. So it's just a whole thing filled with souvenirs, and they're all like different states. So I was going to just put these all together and sell them all together. I paid three bucks for the whole container. Um, there might be a couple here and there in there that might have a little bit more value like there's a couple teddy bears in there and stuff like that so um if you pick stuff like this up um it does sell this is kind of long tail it's it's going to probably be one of those items that's going to be long tail so we'll see tom hair bobblehead this is lancaster barnstormers i think they're called um that's pennsylvania um minor league team um tom hair so yeah, inaugural season 2005. So that's not a 2005 card. So this is an older player. There's another one. There's another score. Yeah, that's like 89 or something, isn't it? 1990. I did pick up a um, I did pick up a um, a box of 1990 Fleer baseball cards too. There's some really good rookies in there. I think Griffey's rookies in there. There's a bunch, a um, bunch of good rookies. So this was 2.99. This was only three dollars and one sold for on a bid. For twenty dollars plus shipping, so that's probably what I'll do with this. Um, this is going to cost to ship, so I'm, I will definitely be charging shipping on that. We're kind of running out of room here. So this was over with the shoes. This is just a Sturgis bandana. I don't do too well with. Sometimes Sturgis does okay. Um, I don't know if it has to be super old, but this was brand new with the tags. It's just a scarf bandana, whatever. It is motorcycle rally 2012. So we'll see. We'll get it listed. We'll see how it does. 
So whatever. And this is another really good brand. If you guys ever see this brand, it's called Scully. Here's the tag, brand new with tags. Now it was weird because the one that was new was listed for $10. They only wanted 10 for the one that was new. Now Scully is like a, it's like a Western shirt. These are women's shirts. Um, really cool with the boots, but brand new with tags, cool colors. These sell for a hundred dollars. So I'll probably sit it out. I'll probably wait um, until I get that, you know, get the hundred dollars for it. The craftsmanship is not very good. I'm guessing that these are vintage They're made in China. So, you know, I wonder if they fake these. It says since 1906. So this brand's been around forever. So the quality is not very good, but, um, I don't know if they would fake these or not, but it's in, it's definitely, it's embellished and everything else. There's the tag on the back. So this one is brand new with tags. I think the other one is brand new without tags. So I'm definitely going to get these listed today. There was that one. And then there was this one. Unfortunately, this one was $25, but I was like, you know what? 35 for both of them is a good deal because the one's going to sell for a hundred because it has a tag on it. This one I think was just new without tags because to me it looks just like the other one it looks brand new it looks like it was never worn so this one is i'm going to sell this one new without tags so for 25 dollars, this one's really nice really cool so yeah unfortunately like i said this one doesn't have the tag on it but um it's brand new this is a brand new shirt i don't think it was ever worn um really cool was embroidered flowers all over it this is dope so um, this one will be new without tags. I'll probably get about 70 for that one. Anywhere between like 60 and $80 for that one. The other one I'm going to push for more because, because of the design on it, the boots. It's just a really cool design. So I did find, and this was wrapped around it. I don't know if this goes with it. So I'm just going to include it and tie it around the neck. And I'll probably put those on the mannequin. They'll look a lot better on the mannequin. They will look flat. So... And I think that this is vintage. Contempo. It's made in USA. It does look like it's kind of like single stitch. It's got a little pocket. The pocket on it looks like it's probably single stitch. It is single stitch. Yeah. Single stitch. Um, there's like a material underneath of it. Yeah, there's like a paper like under the pocket. So, I don't know. I think that this is vintage. I don't know if it's a men or women's. It kind of looks like a woman's shirt. Yeah, I think that, yeah, it has the con, concave or whatever in the, you know, the, the hip and the waist. So that's probably a women's shirt. So I did find a few women's items today, but I've been doing okay with some women's stuff. I'm very picky when it comes to women's clothing. So with that being said, yeah. Um, What do we got here? I got this at the Goodwill. Um, there was another one. There was a Peter Millar. Um, it wasn't a down vest, so I passed on. I was like, you know what? I do better with down. Um, and a lot of times they don't sell for that much anyway. This is a newer Nike. This is actually an extra small. I might just give this to my daughter. That's what I was thinking about. I think I'm just going to give this to my daughter. I think she'll really like it. Um, and I think that an extra small will fit her better. If it doesn't fit her, then I'm probably just going to just resell it. And I should get about 40 for this because it is a down vest and it is Nike. I have a Nike vest sitting that hasn't sold yet. All right, so we got a Chase Utley. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, these sell for about $35. This was, I think it was five something. This was $4.99. So not too bad. I'll four nine five into 35, which isn't bad. Um, that I'll probably, I might put on the, on the um, mannequin. I don't know. And I found this one is a woman's. Anytime you see the X, whenever you see 2X and not extra large or, or extra extra large or 2XL, um, that's a woman's. So this is a woman's plus size. So anytime you see an X after a number, it's going to be a plus size. So this is women's plus. It is local. It is Harrisburg, but it's really cool. It's vintage. It's on a vintage jersey. Super sweat tag made in USA. You guys see the tag made in USA. Um, they're real easy to spot. It's always in red where it says made in USA. So, you know, nothing big. It's not too great, but it's in really good condition. It's the Winterfest, which this might sell right away. So I don't know if they do that anymore, 
Maybe it'll sell local. It might go. It, it might just go to Harrisburg. So I don't know. All right, so we got a Pittsburgh Pirates license plate. This was two bucks. I don't know what this is going to be worth. Um, too bad it wasn't a team that I like or I would put it on my car, but it's not It's not anything that I would, you know, I'm not a Pittsburgh Pirates fan, so that just that wouldn't work for me. I don't know what the value is. It was only $2. They're a pain in the butt to ship because they're, it's going to be, I mean, I might got to put this in cardboard and it might ship for under a pound. I think it will, actually. I think these do ship for under a pound. I just would have to put cardboard, wrap it in cardboard. So I thought this was cool, 75 cents. This is a Nintendo DS snakeskin um, cover. So really cool. It's like magnetic. I don't know what the value is on this. Probably not that much. Probably like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. It probably wasn't even really worth picking up. So I took a chance on this. Um, it was three bucks. I'm going to use the blow dryer to heat that up to take that off so it doesn't ruin the paper because that's what will happen. I'll peel it off and it, it will mess up the paper. I don't know how long it was sitting there for. These usually come off pretty good, though. Yeah. These tags aren't that bad. Just pull slow. There we go. All right, so that's off. Um, it'd be nice if I had the whole set, because there is a whole set to them. It's obviously only one. It's the Red Ranger. Maybe somebody's a Red Ranger fan. Um, what are the name of these pans? I can't remember. They're Wilton. This is a Wilton cake pan. So anybody that wants a Red Ranger cake pan, or if they just collect... That type of stuff, there's the there's the other piece to it. So this is complete. I don't know if this was ever taken off. Because I, I know you can probably just stick it right back into the pan. So I don't know if it was ever used. It doesn't look like it was used. They're really old. These are from the 90s, but um, they're usually not worth a whole lot. So hopefully this one is worth a little bit more than the average cake pan. Because I find Mickey Mouse, I find Garfield. Um, I find a lot of them, and, it, and usually they're just not worth that much. So, And they're a pain in the butt to ship. They're bigger. They are light. If you can find the perfect box so that they won't be over a pound, then you're good to go. But chances of that, you know, it's kind of hard. All right, so we got some 1990 Dunruss. Um, I don't know if it's the whole set. I did pull some cards out and move them around. They are in really good shape. They're in, like, perfect condition. But like I said, I have to go through these. I don't know. Um, if there's any good cards in here, if they were already taken out, I don't know the deal. But these weren't there last time I was there, so these were just put out. Maybe, you know, recently. No, nope. we'll put them down here. All right, and this is something that you guys could do well with. These are, mo these are um, this is a model airplane. It's obviously not a very good subject. It's a German Nazi, yeah, ugh. but um, anyway. It, um, I think one sold. It's brand new inside. It's it's not sealed, but everything in the box is sealed. Um, if they're ever like partially put together, I won't pick them up. They ha it has to be everything inside the box has to be brand new. So this is 2007. So it's not vintage, but I think one. I think there was one sold for like thirty dollars plus shipping. So. 39 or 29 something like that. So this is worth anywhere between 30 and 40 dollars. So not bad for 4.99. So not too bad. I think that's a pretty good um pretty good turnover, or turnaround or whatever on investment. All right. So, I went to this one shop that's like down the street. I think these are the 11s. So they were five bucks. Both pairs were five. I got two pairs. These are actually, these are material. These are not, um, these are like canvas, not leather. So I don't know what these are worth. I know these are the most popular. This is the most popular Jordan. I actually like these Jordans. I think they're popular because they they look like they would be really comfortable. Um, these ones are the children, so they don't have the carbon fiber on the bottom. I don't know if they're supposed to. I'm going to find out when I go to look them up. Because if, they, if they're if they supposed to have the carbon fiber, then that means that these are not real, that these are fake. And I don't know if they'll fit my... They might fit my granddaughter. I don't know. I guess they could be neutral, right? They're youth. So youth is not like girl or boy size. I mean, so whatever. Um, they're probably worth about 30 bucks. They might be worth more. Like I said, that is a more... Um, it is a more... Um, popular style so these are good these are good ones too i don't know which ones these are i don't know if they're 11 12s you know i don't know 
which ones these are. I have to look them up, but they were both $5 and they're both black and they're both in good condition. So these are, are have some patent leather on them and regular leather. Like I said, I don't know if they're real or not. They're, act, they're made really well. So usually when Jordans are fake, you can bend them right in half. They're just, the quality is just really bad. So, um, like I said, I know they're supposed to have carbon fiber. I think those are the, those are the 11s or 12, something like that. One of the most popular, popular one. So with that being said, we have one more, I have two more items actually. So I picked up all of these. They were just in this dirty, you know, they're all kind of stuck in here. Let's see if we can get them all out of here. Get them stuck to the, I'm definitely going to throw this away. Yeah, okay. All right, that's a lot. We're going to throw that out. That's going to get trashed. Okay, so, yeah, I don't know if any of these are worth anything, but we got a ton of fishing lures. And sometimes some of these fishing lures can be really valuable. I'm going to have to look them up. Um, there's just, they smell like they've been used. They smell like fish. Oh, I think that one broke. Yeah, I don't know. I paid $10 for all of them. Was it worth it? I don't know. But sometimes some of these, they can be valuable. Like, I I, I don't know what I was thinking. I was going to put them back. I could have saved $10. So, I don't know if they were even worth picking up. Who knows? And this was only a dollar, so I wasn't going to pass this up. This is a dryer element. Um, I don't know who it's made by. I don't know if it's worth anything. I don't even know if it doesn't look used. So, I don't know if they just took the new one out. I mean, I guess you would know if a dryer element went bad. So, like I said, I don't know what they're worth. Um, they're probably not that much. It's probably more, probably cost more to replace them than it would be just to, you know what I mean, just to do. Oh, no. So, that's it, guys. That's all we got. Um, we'll see how we do with the dryer element. I'll look it up and see if I can find, you know, who makes it or whatever. But um, that's it. And I'm going to look the cards up. I'm going to start getting some listings done. I'm going to start taking some photos. And go, go, Power Rangers. All right, we're out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please hit that notification bell. It really, really... um sets me up for success, um, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get more and more subscribers, more and more watchers. Obviously, I'm not doing this, you know, for nothing. I'm, tr and I'm, I'm trying to do this to help other people, to help myself too, and help my family. So, um, the more subscribers, more, more, wa you know, more watches, blah, blah, blah. You guys know the deal. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. I'm out.